Hey, and welcome to Board of Life News for May 24th. Today I'm going to talk about the Spiel des Jahres nominees, Number 9, The Arrival, Kaiju Crush, and the Kickstarter for Kokoro Avenue of the Kodama. Let's get to it. Hey, I'm Chris. Welcome to Board of Life News. Sorry, I was out sick last week, uh, so I missed the news, but I'm back, so yay! Up first, the Spiel des Jahres uh, committee has released their list of nominees for the Spiel, the Kinderspiel, and the Kinnerspiel. Um, the Spiel des Jahres nominees are King Domino by Bruno Cathala, Magic Maze by Casper Lapp, and El Dorado by Renéer Knizia. So it's fun to see Knizia back on kind of this list, even though he got a Kinderspiel nomination last year. But, you know, it's been a while kind of since he's made a game that uh, in the more hobby stuff, like less kids stuff, has really made much of an impact. So that's fun. Uh, the Kinderspiel nominees, which this is the kids game. Um, the Spiel is the family game. It's generally pretty light games, but these are for, like, kids, like, six-year-old kids. Um, not that you can't play them, obviously, because I've played some of these, and they're great. But, anyways. Uh, up first is Captain Silver by Wolfgang Derschel and Manfred Reindel. Sorry for butchering those names. Ice Cool by Brian Gomez. And The Mysterious Forest by Carlos A. Rossi. Up next is the Kinner Spiel, which this is the Connoisseur game. So this is a more recent category um, because I guess people, well, they just wanted to expand to make sure that they're kind of encompassing a larger portion of board gaming than just light family games. So these are generally heavier. They're still usually not heavy games. They're kind of more midweight games. Um, and up first is Exit the Game by Inca and Marcus Brand, Raiders of the North Sea by Shim Phillips, and Terraforming Mars by Jacob Fro Fryxilius. Fryxilius. That sounds like a fake name. Um, I've never said that name out loud, and I didn't realize how weird it looked until now. It's got an X after a Y. That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, so a lot of people were so a little bit surprised that Terraforming Mars was on this, not because it's not a good game, but because it's uh, pretty heavy. I wasn't really that surprised because the category is supposed to be able to encompass heavier games, but I was a little bit surprised that Great Western Trail by Alexander Pfister wasn't on this list um, because I think he's won it the past two years in a row, um, and it's a really good game. And I kind of feel like, in my mind, I view Terraforming Mars as a heavier game than Great Western Trail. BGG's community disagrees with me and wait. Um, it, it has a lot of heavy things, but once you get going, it's actually pretty simple. But in, anyways, nothing to hear there. Um, so yeah, all of these games, uh, the ones I've played, seem deserving to be on this list. The ones I haven't played, I don't know. Um, I'm going to be at BGG Spring this weekend. Um, if you're going to be there, make sure to say hi to me. Um, and one of the cool things at BGG Spring is they bring in a bunch of the uh, committee from Europe that selects these titles. And they bring in all the games, and that committee teaches you the game. So hopefully I'll get to play every single one of these nine games this weekend. And then next week I'm going to have a video breakdown of the Spiel, the Kenner Spiel, and the Kinder Spiel, and my thoughts on each one of those. So make sure you tune in next week if you're interested to hear what I think about each one of these games. Okay, on to the regular news. Z-Man Games announced that they'll be bringing number nine over. Um, I first saw this game, uh, some social media posts coming out of Gathering of Friends, and at first... Uh, I was like, oh no, because I have a tile stacking game that's coming out uh, in the relatively near future um, called Favelas that I've been working on that I'm really proud of. And this is a tile stacking game. And I was like, no, I got beaten to it. But luckily this, the mechanics aside from tile stacking seem totally different in this game. And then I immediately wanted the game because it seems awesome. It's a sort of puzzle game where you have polyominoes that are different numbers. So like, you know, one through nine. And you have to place them next to each other on your play er, player area. But then you also stack them upwards. But you have to kind of, you can't have it um, hanging off any any level. So all of the, you know, all of the bottom of this tile has to be touching all of the top of this tile. And then you score points based on how high it is and what number it is. So it looks like a really nice filler game where it can be as light and silly as you want it to be. But also it seems like it could get real, like brain burning and crunchy like trying to like perfectly figure out how to like stack your things so that you have like the exact right kind of space um it's really beautiful i love the like product design of it it's really like graphic designy and very colorful has a wonderful insert so yeah i'm super excited about this and we'll definitely be picking it up whenever z-man gets it over here cryptozoic announced that they'll be bringing the arrival by martin wallace over this originally came out at spiel 2016 but hasn't been read readily available in the states 
Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. In the game, you're trying to take control of like ancient Ireland, but they're these things called the uh, Fomori. Fomori? I don't know how to say it. Um, and they're like giant demons. It looks very Shadow of the colossus which I love. So it's got a really evocative kind of artwork and seems like uh, like a more fun theme than uh, kind of Martin Wallace's older stuff. Um, his newer stuff, he's been kind of doing these more creative, more interesting themes, which is exciting because I love Martin Wallace's designs. The Cryptozoic said this edition will have updated art, components, and rules and be out fall of 2017. So keep an eye out for that if that sounds interesting to you. Fireside Games announced Kaiju Crush. This is a two to four player game where you take on the roles of giant kaiju uh, and you're trying to crush buildings in the city and fight each other and you can get victory points in various ways like that. Um, this is, it's interesting. I guess there haven't been a lot of kaiju games. There's just been really uh, prominent ones where like obviously King of Tokyo or King of New York is like gigantically huge in the hobby and then like Terra and Meeple City that came out a couple years ago. So like when I saw it, when I saw that it was a kaiju game, I was like, do we really need another kaiju game? And then I thought about it, and I was like, well, I mean, you know, 50 zombie games, actually way more than 50 zombie games come out a year, but, you know, people are still making zombie games and making money, and kaiju's a fun theme for a game, like, the kind of, like, foundation of it is giant monsters destroying and fighting each other, so that makes a lot of sense. So, I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe we do need another kaiju game. It's supposed to be out November 1st. This week's Kickstarter is for Kokoro Avenue of the Kodama. This is a re-implementation of the game Avenue, the roll and write game that came out last year, even though you don't roll, but I still count it as a roll and write game. Uh, and the theme kind of of Kodama the Tree Spirits, but it's also taking a little bit from Kodama the Tree Spirits I'll talk about in a second. Um, so Avenue is probably my favorite roll and write game right now that I've played. Um, where you don't actually roll a die, you draw a card. It's a lot like Karuba, where you have a card that has a, um, like, direction on it, like, oh, this is, a, like, a, you turn from the left side of the tile down, um, and then you draw that on your little player board, and you're trying to make these routes going through various objects, cl connecting to different cities so that you can get the most points. Um, and everybody draws the same, like, route, but you get to pick where to put it, so it's, it's really interesting. Well, now with the Tree Spirits, they are bringing... The decree cards from Kadama the Tree Spirits that are kind of like little rule changing cards where you can either break a rule or get more points if you do a certain thing. And they're putting them in this game so they'll have some increased replay value. So that's pretty exciting. They're taking uh, Quan Chai, who did the amazing art in Kadama the Tree Spirits, is doing the art in this one, which is really great. Um, it's going to have dry erase boards instead of, you know, a pad of paper. And as I said, it's going to int introduce the decree card, so it'll be a little bit different than Avenue, but still kind of the same, like, core game. If that sounds interesting to you, it's $19 right now on Kickstarter, and go back it. All right, that's the news for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. As I said, I'm going to be at BGG Spring this weekend, so if you're going to be there, make sure to come find me. Hopefully you can play a game together, and if not, at least I'll say hello to you, and that'll be great for everybody. Um, as I said, next week, instead of the news, I'm going to be doing probably three separate videos of the Spiel, the Kenner Spiel, and the Kinder Spiel nominees, and I'm going to be talking about each one of those games and what I thought of them. Uh, so if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you tune in for that. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you follow me on social media. I'm at Chris Bryan Games on Instagram and Twitter. And make sure you check out my Patreon if you haven't already because that's how I can do this amazing stuff. And that's how I get to go to conventions and things, which is great for everybody. Mostly me, but also you kind of, but mostly me. So it's mainly greed that motivates every, uh, every decision of my whole life. So that's the sign for money. I don't know. I'm just going to end it this week. I forgot to ask uh, the internet for a question this week. Um, cause I've been off my game for the past month. So there's no question and said, I guess I will just end it with doing the weird money hands, which is just uh, awkward uh, for everyone. All right. Uh, have a good week. I will see you next week.